TubeTape.com's courtroom virtual set comes with six different views for you to set up an official looking courtroom scene for your projects. Today, we are going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use some of those views. Remember to keep in mind the basic rules of green screen video. Light the screen evenly, try to keep your subject at least five feet from the green screen, and don't let your subject wear green. The first shot is just a straight on close up shot of the judge. Make sure the camera is level with the subject so it lines up correctly when you import your footage into your compositing program. Once your footage is imported, go ahead and key out the green screen. If your program supports it, mask around your subject to get rid of everything you don't need in the shot. Now scale down your subject and move him into the correct position. And make sure the mask is in the right place along the bench. The last step needed is to color correct the shot of your subject and then add a color correction over the entire scene to blend them together as best you can. For this scene here, we just filmed the three subjects individually and then keyed them out, masked them, and scaled them to fit in the scene correctly. In the courtroom virtual set, the podium, tables, and chairs are all separate layers, so it's easy to place your subjects in the scene in the correct position. Don't forget you can use color correction to create any feel for the scene you would like. A program like Mojo allows you to create very cool looks for your scene. Lastly, we want to show you how in Photoshop you can easily change the text and the seal behind the judge's seats. We have included an angle of the courtroom where the text space is blank. This allows you to use the text tool to type in anything you would like. Then use the transform tools to set the text at the correct perspective. For the seal, you can make your own, then just bring it in as an additional layer and place it over the existing seal. Again, just use the transform tools to get it at the correct perspective. Now, this courtroom scene looks more like a sci-fi council room. Once you have it how you want, simply save it and it is ready to drag and drop back into your video timeline. This concludes our tutorial on the new courtroom virtual set. With the right tools and a little imagination, you can use this virtual set to its full advantage.